Hello, my name is Conan Elliott and I'm Director of Instruction for Teacher Champions Golf Schools here at Camas Meadows Golf Club in Camas, Washington. Today we're going to talk about the iron tee shot. Well, when you're hitting an iron off a tee, one of the biggest things I see with, with my amateurs when we play in pro-ams and stuff, and just when we're out playing, is they tee it much too high. They get the ball way too high up in the air like that. What happens is the golf club, if it swings correctly, hits clear up on the top part of the golf club, the very weakest part of the club, so they don't give much power into it. We still want the club to hit here. All we're doing with a tee on an iron shot is trying to get a perfect lie. Well, a perfect lie is just right there almost on the ground, maybe with an iron slightly above the ground. So we're going to tee that much lower so that the ball's just sitting perfectly and that's all you've done is improve the lie rather than try to have it teed high so you can flick it off there. We still want the club to catch the ball on the down swing, going down into the ball. It'll catch the ball, then continue. We should take a little divot just after the golf ball. So we should have a downward flow, just like we do if it's sitting on the ground. All you're doing with your iron, or your tee is trying to improve the lie, not to build a big, tall, high lie. Let's see what that should look like. Ball placement stays the same on any other iron shot. You make your same swing where we strike it on a downward flow. There the club caught the ball, which was sitting right here. So it caught the ball first. The ball was gone. The club continued down, took the divot, and on down the line. Just as if that ball had been sitting on the ground. This is Conan Elliott, and that's how you hit iron tee shots.